In alphabetical order, and tonight is Jamison's night. Ed Cota will start at the point of the sophomore. Really gave North Carolina a huge boost. And for the Bruins, a very small lineup, as you can see. J.R. Henderson having to play center with Jelani McCoy suspended. Something Henderson, Dean Smith, for 30 years. Guthridge was Dean Smith's primary assistant. The last time he was a head coach, Len, was in high school. It has been a while between head coaching assignments for Guthridge. The tap is won by Carter, but all the way out of bounds. And the officials with an early meeting. Gonna get Toby Bailey or J.R. Henderson taken out of the game early. 40 second shot clock in effect. One of the experimental rules we'll tell you about. Ed Coda penetrates and gives the Tar Heels a 2 0. Started last year, and for some players, you know, this is par for the course. I think what it should do is unify them, if nothing else. Offensive rebound, though, for the Bruins. Henderson has his shot rejected, but they get it again. Toby Bailey giving UCLA another chance. And now finally back to our Jai will tussles for the ball. Hard-nosed young man, great floor leader. Bailey for three, UCLA leads four to two. On the rim as he took off. It's not something that he can injure any further, but it is something that's painful. And it's hampered his ability to work on that jump shot. Coda, so good on the lob as he finds Vince Carter behind the defense. Well, I'll tell you something, Ed Coda and Vince Carter, they have a thing going on. Those two guys communicate very well. Baron Davis with his friend Carter. They've worked well together. And right there, getting behind the defense, Toby Bailey not putting up. Inside, J.R. Henderson on Jamison. Left hand, no. Rebound, Jamison. Here comes Coda. Good look ahead. Carter turned it over. Numbers for UCLA. J.R. Henderson. Good to take advantage of the smaller players. And they're certainly not moving the ball. A little bit too much dribble. Look inside for Jamison, and the Tar Heels back within two. The answer on that end. Remember, Toby Bailey at 6'5 is the second biggest player on the floor for UCLA. Brandon Lloyd, he's the zone buster for the Bruins. The floor, that makes it more difficult for UCLA to try to double team the ball. Vince Carter, around and out, follow no good. Okalaja, and a fresh 40 now for North Carolina. Coda, got it. Got to be able to put a body on someone and, and limit North Carolina to one shot if possible. Henderson to the basket. And Antoine Jameson has picked up his set. Four ten minute quarters in effect here tonight. Coda working on Lloyd. Inside Jameson, pretty good position, and he got it. Well, again, UCLA back into a matchup type of zone with Toby Bailey down on one of the blocks, and it's just a mismatch there. Good passing by North Carolina. Baron Davis has four early. One of the things Steve Lavin said, he's got enough confidence. He's not going to defer to the seniors. He's going to try and take over and lead right away, but he said it in a good way. Coda for three. UCLA trying to find a hole in this zone that the Tar Heels have gone into the last couple of times down. Bailey feeding Baron Davis off for Henderson. Tough shot, but he got it. And that's an example of un pass it up. Okalaja. Jamison guarded by Henderson. Everywhere else, really, North Carolina has a size advantage. Jai had nobody on him and didn't know it. Unselfishly inside, though, and Okalaja. Excellent recognition there. Anderson thinking about it. It's an isolation. Jai doesn't want any part of that. J.R. Henderson, A. Cotton, and Jelani McCoy to Chris Johnson. It's a completely different UCLA team. And to be fair, all the preseason rankings for the Bruins were before the McCoy and Johnson suspensions were to pressure on Bailey and Henderson because of the absence of the two guys. Do well, they feel that? Well, they're the seniors, and they certainly recognize that they've got to be able to set the tone. Okalaja wanted four. He'll settle for Kelly. Obviously, he had stardom written all over him, and he still remains probably the best player on that floor for UCLA. It's a question of leadership now. Jamison underneath. 24-20, three seconds in the quarter. Earl Watson will put up a three at the buzzer. And that'll be it in quarter number one. North Carolina finishes on a high 65 pounds. They hope the big man of the future. Jamison from 15. That's a shot he worked on all summer. He wants to have him in foul trouble. Just his first college game, but they need all the talent on the floor they've got. Wide open in the corner. Williams gets by Bailey. Hangs and a nice dish to Okalaja. Under heels by eight. Bailey hangs. Back rim. Rebound to Coda. Williams a bit ahead of the pack. Tough shot as he's falling away from the basket. On the bench with two fouls. 
Billy Knight has checked in for the Bruins. 6'4 freshman, a good shooter from outside. Carter, again, unselfish look, and Frederick has it swatted out of bounds. Right there, Vince Carter with a nice interior pass. Frederick just anchor of that defense right now. A defense that's probably gotten a little bit tired from all of the chasing that they've had to do over the last quarter and a half. Jai will take it and bury it. And it but since then, it's been all Tar Heels. And again, I believe at UCLA, they've got some tired legs right now, even though it's the first half. Vince Carter certainly has anything but tired legs. Knight trying to stop the ball, which he does a nice job of. And UCLA now in a man-to-man, -man, they've shed that matchup zone. Williams hard to the bucket, couldn't get it to go. Henderson comes out with it, numbers UCLA. Bailey off for Davis, had it stripped, and it's North Carolina's ball. We talked a bit too tricky for his teammate with the no look right there. Pass a little bit further out for Barron. Second quarter, Carolina by a dozen. Carter puts it on the floor. Foul line jumper, no. Followed by Okalaja, no. One more time. Now it's Carolina getting all the rebounds. Now that's just a battle that UCLA cannot win unless they put a body on someone. Nice play by Henderson. Davis nice. with a great look ahead to Earl Watson. We talked about that. Henderson getting around and again getting Shimon Williams in no man's land. A nice little wraparound bounce pass. Davis and Knight. It seems doubtful that Henderson or Bailey are going to get any time off tonight. Carter! Well, you told since certainly no one with the rise of a Vince Carter. Eight for Carter and a 12-point lead. Watson from the corner with a big three-point. Carolina doing a nice job helping when Henderson puts the ball on the floor or Bailey trying to take them out of the offense. Okalaja at 6-9 covering Baron Davis as Bailey bangs in a jumper and all of a sudden you see guards on the floor right now. Right underneath, Jai uncontested putback. And don't think that Mac Tarl in there to be conduits through the offense and there's not a good chemistry when they're all five little guys out there. Another basket for Mac Tarl. The difference points inside as expected. And now one of the Bigger fellas, I've Travis never, Reed's coming in. I've never seen Maktar Jai start for him because he hasn't been offensive minded. This should give him some confidence. I don't care who you're playing against. Well, he's already got eight points. Lob for Jamison, North Carolina, running away from. A 12 0 run for the Tar Heels to break it open. Williams and the follow by Jai. He's matched his. Again, if you missed it, the reason for this lack of size. The suspensions of Jelani McCoy and Chris Johnson for UCLA, especially McCoy, their only true center on the roster. Brandon Lloyd, good outside shooter, drains a three and finally. Well, he does so many things for this team. You know, it's a stroke of luck. He was discovered in Berlin, Germany by Henrik Rodel, a former Carolina player. That's the last thing that Steve Lavin needed is Vince Carter with a baseline jumper. Antoine Jameson with a the number eight guy is a walk on Brad Frederick a 6 5 junior who got a very limited action last year the lob and it goes <laughs> in. Can't squeeze it. Carolina just quicker to the ball than UCLA right now and a lot of that has to do with the scrambling defense UCLA is forced to play. Nice look inside Okalaja they're spreading the ball and you pray for some breaks. Well, Henderson got his hand to the passing lane there now turnover they got a break Baron Davis pushing it leaves it for Bailey who might not have been expecting it but still puts it in CLA you've got to find a way to capitalize Bailey in the corner now Henderson tries to go by Okalaja left it a little short and the quick hands belong to Carolina good job by Watson cutting off the lane. Toby Bailey just can't do the ball. And if you can't pressure the passer with a big lineup like this, you're going to get picked apart. Lloyd for three, and nobody underneath, and nobody, and nobody back. back. You're <laughs> right. Shaman Williams, and the route is on. 64 35. A little lows. The night that Dean Smith announced his retirement, Bill Guthridge was out at dinner, got home, and there were 24 messages on his answering machine. Shortly thereafter, his wife told him that they had to unlist their number, and he never had to do that in 30 years as an assistant. Rico Hines commits the foul, his second. 
I'd like to see Maktar Jai reset after he kicks the ball outside. He's gotten some great looks and great opportunity to score. There's a good look for three from Shaman Williams, one of the most accurate three point shooters in the nation. 42% from out there a year ago. Baron Davis hangs and drops it in. Well, this is year and out, guys. Possibly headed to the pros. I hope not. Development now requires a significant amount of time in college basketball. Three pointer, 11. 25 point lead, Carolina, four and change to go third quarter. Vince Carter can't stop it. That time Billy Knight slipped, losing to Louisville. And for all you trivia, trivia nuts out there, Louisville was coached by a former UCLA assistant in Denny Crump. <laughs> and UCLA was coached by a Carolina player in Larry Brown. <laughs> it, Davis pushing it again, right to the basket. Rebound to Haywood. Not let Dakota. Pace picking up. Jamison underneath, got it back, and puts it in. All right, welcome back to Sullivan Arena. You are looking at Carlos Boozer Jr. out of Juneau, Alaska, attends Juneau Douglas High School. He is a junior in high school. And available to Steve Lavender right now. He's got another freshman, Travis Reed, back in there. That's him with the ball. 6'6 six, six wide body, left hand and in. That's the kind of play. The easier the winner of this game plays the winner of Seton Hall and Alaska Anchorage, and the loser plays the loser. Inside, Henderson, and it's 77 to 48. Talk about learning experiences. Good execution by UCLA that time in a half-court set. Jamison feeling it. Henderson doesn't like the call at all. Competition, but also with the hospitality and the, the warmth and the genuineness of the folks out here, they've been able to show these young men a nice time. There's Billy Knight. On I did a rod <laughs> types <laughs> of right. dog sled runs and snowmobiling. A lot of stuff you can't do in Maui, uh -huh. right, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> Vince Carter from outside, and he'll answer. Now three subs getting ready to check in for Carolina. Vince Carter not ready to leave. Just or Shamata Williams on the giving in, and whether it's Carter or Jamison on the receiving end, North Carolina's got the lob down to a science, Hello. and that's a pretty high percentage play in Vince Carter's playbook as well. Vince Carter's breakaway <laughs> dunks might have been. Don't tell me he's starting to tone the act down. He's probably put enough highlights on the reel. There's a highlight for Baron Davis. Well, he made a lot of changes to his game beginning last year, being a more improved defensive player. But one thing hasn't changed, his ability to rise. And also, his ability to create highlights, as we said, on the reel. And here, it's just a little bit toned down on the dunk. You probably would have expected some type of 360 and end up with a smile. Dakota still in the game. From the wing, three-pointer, no, but Brendan Haywood uncontested. Develop a nose, an instinct for the ball on the offensive end. Watson, tough bounce pass, picked off by Coda. Who's he going to give it to? Okolaja running it down. Later on in the season, won their third consecutive Pac-10 title, made it to the final eight. Reed lost the handle. Billy Knight picked up the garbage and banks it in. Outline's capable of today. You add a Brendan, Sul Brendan Haywood with the ability to block shots and give him a little bit of offensive skill. Oh, man. From the wing, three-pointer, Terrence Newby. Even the bench getting it evolved now for Carolina. Brandon Lloyd will try to answer, and he does. He's a shooter. Carolina closing in on 100 points, and there's plenty of time to go. Just about six minutes. Brian Burstaker into the game. Frederick, first sticker, he'll take it from the foul line. Nice stroke. Watson getting a lot of minutes. Tough shot. And Haywood underneath. He's as big as any two Bruins on the floor combined. <laughs> Owens, nice looking stroke for him. The pass, Walter Davis comes to mind. He's got that same number, too. Daly, Rico Hines on the wing, way short on the three. Reed underneath. Acquitting themselves well in their first game for the Bruins. Burst sticker, no. Haywood, I would think so. Trouble. And you recognize the importance of a Jelani McCoy, a big guy on the front line who can add so much, as well as a Chris Johnson. 
big strong player who can really break offenses down in the half court situation. I just got to believe again that if Jelani McCoy doesn't do a complete re. Hines puts it on the floor. Look for Daly. And they'll get it underneath. Rico Hines, 109 to 68. As time will expire in this game. Glenn and Bill Guthridge and his team had their way. Just too much size and skill around.